Civil War Two X Men Number One by Cullen Bunn and Andrea Bricardo. High atop a sealed skyscraper in Dubai, a group of wealthy mutants hide out to escape the Terrigen Cloud. As the discussion meanders between inhuman versus mutant, an alarm sounds that the building's seal has been broken. Magneto and the X-Men drift in, demanding equal protection for the other mutant citizens. Slowly, the waitstaff's disguises fall, and they turn out to be sentinels. As they fire upon the crowd of mutants, the X-Men defend them until the last second, when the sentinels fire towards the windows, exposing them all to the mists. The X-Men leap from the windows, levitating as many of the now refugees as they can as the wind begins to blow the cloud from their immediate vicinity. They realize Storm and her team have jumped in to join the fight. They attack the Sentinels in mass as magic teleports the bystanders to the Limbo dimension. Meanwhile, reunions of old friends ensue. Nightcrawler and Psylocke battle the Sentinels together like old times, and old arguments between Logan and Sabretooth are stoked for a new generation. They discuss how lucky Magneto's team was that Storm's team shows up when they did. Monet tells them luck had nothing to do with it. She picked it up on their surface thoughts that they had warnings from the future. They've been working with the Inhumans, which Magneto declares is treasonous. The Terrigenesis sterilizes mutants while granting life to Inhumans. At the core of the argument is a new Inhuman named Ulysses, which Psylocke discovers while probing their minds, uninvitedly. Magneto's team regroups in the Savage Land, where he tells them that the Inhumans will use their weapon against the X-Men as soon as it suits them. Psylocke tells them that Ulysses is just a kid. Their debate is interrupted when Nightcrawler bamfs in. Magneto tells him that if he's there to change minds to save his breath, Nightcrawler says it's quite the contrary. He thinks Magneto is right, and with that, the issue is left to be continued. It was smart to put the X-Men's involvement in the Civil War crossover in their own limited series and not bogging down the individual books with it. I've gotten my fill with the Avengers, and this is much easier to get the mutant slant, even though they're probably a lot more of the story than the Avengers actually should be. Either way, great story. Cullen Bunn does a good job of touching all the bases, and I can't wait to see what happens next. I give this one a 9 out of 10. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. This video is accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com or nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as checking out a link to my eBay store by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.